it has like 20 odd, 26 buttons and switches all together. We have our default switches here, put speed limiter, neutral, um, entry diff, mid diff, high speed diff, ha uh, curves harvest, engine mixture, uh, torque and bite point, uh, torque and engine braking, uh, tire switch and default switch. Um, which is also a menu switch so you can have all these different options. DRS, launch for the start. On the display here, so you have all of these lights here, so when you're accelerating, the lights, uh, they, they increase up here, and this is, once they get to here, this one you shift up gears. Um, and these, the two outer ones, you have uh, the, when there's a yellow flag, those two, the two yellow uh, lights flash. If a red flag comes out, the, the bottom red lights come on. You have your gear setting in the middle here. Um, here you have your delta time, so compared to your best lap, it'll tell you whether you're plus point one tenth of a second or minus or whatever. Um, then you, have, you can have your speed here or um, you can have engine temperature or whatever you really want on the dashboard. But I, for me, I just have my lap time and my delta. You have to study this. This, this is your Bible to understand, to be able to utilize the, uh, you know, the diff controls that you have, the engine mixtures and all those kind of things. And you have to do that whilst you're racing. You shouldn't have to think about it. You practice a lot in testing on a simulator. The feeling that changes the car in some small way when you're entering the corner or halfway through the entry of the corner or you change one bit here and it gives you uh, more understeer or less understeer. So, you get used to those kind of things and you, you put it into your memory bank and you remember it for the next time.